Yeah. When normally he's pretty mashy. I've had enough of this song. All right, I've had enough of this song. All right. <laughs> All right. Night. Wow, clean. Man, I love House of 3K, bro. All right, let's get into it. Dark Wizzy against Scott. Game one of Winner's Finals, Super Mario against Luigi. There we go, getting things started off. And you were just, you know, you're alluding to it with, um, with the fact that Mario has to be very careful about the Luigi Cyclones and stuff and everything out of Luigi landing and the Nairs. The same regard, too, when it comes to... Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Okay, big damage will always come off these throws. But Luigi has to also wait for Mario to aggressively land with those Nairs, too. So it's going to be on basically who's better at controlling someone swinging too much out of disadvantage. Right, pressure the ledge here, Scott. Filling it out. I like the pressure. Okay, that B was kind of crazy. I don't know if he was trying to read him dashing in or something like that, but there we go. Dark Wizzy. I like how he's incorporating walking more and more into his neutral. I mean, just having that control of your character, even mm -hmm. when it's retreating, is really, really strong. You never know. You can, you can throw on the brakes, turn around, back airs Mario. Yeah. You're going to be looking for that. Especially with a very good, uh, like, back air like Mario's where he can just come, like, react so quickly, just put that pressure on. You can afford to walk around. Oh, nice. oh my God. Gets the answer immediately, though, with the up B. Is Scott just about to win GamerCon? You I know mean, what I mean? Look, like, here's the thing: is like both of us are like we're not surprised to see him make these upsets. He's no. made, had a couple big upsets today. You know, especially people in the chat saying, "I don't even know who this guy is." Who is? Yeah, this? yeah. For people who aren't aware, God Scott's like, been God around like, since yeah. like for like the past eight years. He, yeah. he is just he doesn't get to travel often, but when he does, usually he'll get he'll find his way to like a thirty third and such. But he never really had the big W's or big gun openers. But Wizzy finds the opener right there he against was, the L-Smash. He was definitely a top Luigi in Smash 4 as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? He wasn't one of the SoCal ones. You know, shout out to Elegant and Kong Kong. But like, you know, so he didn't quite get the attention that they did. But dude, he was right up there with them for yeah. sure. Yeah, very, very big threat. Like we were saying before, not something we're not unused to seeing with him taking a W against Light. Like, he has definitely done it before. But right now, he's doing excellent so far against Wizzy. Granted, Wizzy has completely changed things up. I think a big part of it is that walking nature, you said, and his ability to play passive. He's doing really good. Oh, good parry off the Nair. Read the roll away, yes, sir, but the Nair's gonna get him out of the combo. Bailing him out, Mario, a couple up airs, keep it nice and easy, oh forward God. smash, almost gonna do it here. Scott gonna have to go for the green missile, able to make it around the, the fireballs as well for Mario. Four throw, rinse and repeat, Wizzy at the ledge, very strong. Yeah, Wizzy's ledge trap is going very good here. Oh, misses out on the up smash, and also decides to go for a down smash too, just in case uh, Scott thought that he could punish him there, but Scott also plays some Mario, he understands, like, nope, I cannot oh, yeah. challenge that. I forget he played Mario a little bit too. Yeah, very, very few times you'll see that pocket pick them up. <laughs> Bruh, hive mind. Actual, y'all. Super mass, bro. Both y'all share over. one brain cell. That's all I gotta say. All right. Yeah. Anyway, Wizzy going up. Good pressure from a man. And I think this is really where we're gonna see Wizzy's style of Mario really pay off. Patience, poke when he can, and capitalize on the combos when they're super true and he, he feels confident in hitting them. But down throw, look for oh. another up B, gets him again, caught him again. Absolutely, he covers it. Also, for somebody who said it in chat, it's at Scott S C O T underscore smash. That is his Twitter in case you want to see it. Oh, big damage coming in from that into the up smash, gets the back air. Wizzy currently being stuck at the ledge. If he gets a good read here, Wizzy's dead. Oh, easily, he's yeah. Up, yeah, he's up to up B presents. Both a little nervous right now. A couple of nervous uh, options right there. Both players living, though. Both looking for... They both want space Ooh. back air. Ooh. Oh, wait. Down throw, up B. Is it going to work again? No, down, oh, down B. B. Yep. Get, oh. Trying to go for the DI mix-up to cross him up on the left. That's the back air. He's forced to recover high. He catches him with the plunger. Down tilt at the ledge, though. So strong. Here we go. Send the pressure. The down B is going to do it right up the side. I love that because he went for a couple of down tilts at the ledge. Condition Wizzy to say, I'm going to down tilt once and retreat, down tilt once and retreat, down tilt once, down B. Close out the set or close out the game. Very, very clean stuff from Scott. Has, I wish I had your glasses to take him off right now. Scott, though? Yeah, Scott. Scott is playing amazing he's, so far he's today. He's about to win GamerCon, honestly. Like, he really out here not only 2 owing uh Light, then having an incredibly ridiculous set against Dill, but now taking first game here against Wizzy. Wizzy's, yeah. I'm curious to see what Wizzy's adjustments are going to be going into game two. We'll see. I mean, Wizzy was doing so well the first couple of socks. I think you just want to see some more of that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. More of what you did in game one. Uh, just kind of rinse and repeat it. But coming up here, yeah, Wizzy Scott. against Mario again. Yes, sir. Running it right over to Battlefield, and we're going to be seeing. Uh, we're going to be hearing the return of the uh, the Metal Mario music. Right now, I think the, what is on Wizzy's mind is I screwed up, but mashing the jump, getting out of the throw, that was 60%. That was almost about to be a lot more than that. Look at the immediate down B, recognized that Wizzy was going to come up there, that or it was just mashing and it worked. 
Uh, yeah, it definitely could be one of those two options, but up smash, a lot of this matchup, as we've seen, is going to be who's back airing, who's facing the back air, and who's looking for the up smash yeah. on the ground. Who's looking for the parry, too? Like, there's a couple oh. of key mix-ups in this game. Falling up air, though, huge. Wizzy, is he going to be able to carry? Oh, he might distance? be able to get off the top of this. No, close, not just very yet. Close, yeah. I like the fireball there. Instead of trying to use the, the side B in early, back throw's not going to kill, but it's going to push him deep off stage. He's got to deal with the flood. Right. Pressure here. How many Forward times has Wizzy walked away to roll distance and gotten a grab on neutral getup? It's actually insane. Getting the misfire too, AJ. It's going to help him recover. A little less stressful on his path back. Oh, good parry. Up smash. Not going to kill just yet. Down B sliding up the edge too. Good patience yes. there and getting the punish by Wizzy. Nice. Another misfire. Are you kidding me? And he's, changing, he's forcing Wizzy to change up his timings on the ledge drop with the, uh, the cape. And he's actually still not dead just yet. Get oh, that's a big punish. To be punished. Like I said, Dark Wizzy, down smash master. Very clean. Mm -hmm. Waste no time. Does not waste any any second to get that reaction. Oh, oh, I love it. I like that. If you get him with the jump, then now all of a sudden you could possibly go for forward air or he just dies. <laughs> I'm sorry, how'd that hit? That was so far away. Yeah, that's all I gotta <laughs> say about it. You know, cowboy Yippee! emoji, that's it. <laughs> Down B again. Yeah, we'll not kill just yet. It's getting a little stale, but at the same time, like at, when it's that low. Alright, yeah, trying to go for another one. You're gonna take a big grab punish here. Was he starting to actually catch Scott where it seems like Scott's swinging a little bit too much at a disadvantage? Or you could just keep doing it. There we go. Dash That's attack. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Yep. Good job by Scott. 74%. I mean, we saw him at a deficit in game one. See if he can do it again. Repeat his comeback in game two. That is very true. And it's not like the big thing with this matchup is although Mario may win more on like the short hop game, just the simple hits. Luigi gets a lot more when he finds that one hit. So Wizzy's got to keep the back air pressure up to make sure he does not get grabbed. Otherwise, it's going to be an even stock very quickly. Yeah, I mean, Wizzy's just great with playing with the lead, too. Just yeah. playing nice and patient. Look at him not sacrificing, not over swinging in that situation, but also not sacrificing at any stage, not letting Scott get back for free. Yeah. Beat on his ground, he's going to get another grab here, back throw. Scott is in the blender right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, it, but, like, like, Wizzy's spacing his back airs perfectly on shield, too. So he's not letting him, like, if he space it properly, it's safe on shield. So he's refusing to let Scott get an opportunity to actually get a hit if he misfaces, but Scott just keeps taking the back airs to the face. Mm -hmm. Back air again, like you said. No need to overcommit here, because this is where Luigi can thrive and just kill you. We saw Scott do it so many mm -hmm. times in game one. Get the down throw, and then looking right for the up Your throw combo right into the up in the air. So good. See if you can find another one here, but right now, Wizzy's not letting him breathe. My man got a lot of dirt on those shoes. Like, yeah. it is stale. Scuff, scuff kicks, bro. <laughs> yeah. he, like, those backers are not killing right now. He needs something. Oh, fall out. Yeah, that works. Falling drag down, down air into down smash. Down okay. Can I say down smash master enough times? No, you Wizzy. Did, Ooh, you, the you are master, too. Dang. Patented it, man. You got uh -oh. it. Oh, big damage. Oh, actually. Ooh, the extension with the plunger. Very good. Wizzy with the DI mix up too, though. He died mm -hmm. a lot earlier in game one to that exact grab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was a big adjustment from Wizzy. Yeah, that actually worked out for Wizzy that it only ended up equal to 57. Hard call on the down air. If you went straight up, that was an upbeat. That was good, uh, like, reactionary DI from Wizzy there to avoid getting hit by that. Couple up airs. Oh, stringing it together. Wizzy, he had the flood too. I'm surprised he didn't use it in that, that string situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go for the safe pressure. That or if that was a West Coast Mario, that would have been a forwarder. <laughs> True. Oh, that's a trade. Yep. Nice. Take that's that good, trade every knowledge. time. It's good knowledge, yeah. Job by Wizzy there. Counter pick really working out. But as we've seen Scott today, he's been down in sets or down in games and made mm -hmm. comebacks. But it's 1 1 right now in his counter pick. I think Wizzy just made the right adjustments. Yes. Avoid the big hits from Scott, I think, was the biggest thing that Wizzy did. Like avoiding the big win conditions, and especially that aerial up B out of the grab, was so good to yeah. avoid. And his back airs were just on point. They were just do doing everything yeah. he needed to do. Spaced them well, kept calling out Scott's jumps, kept forcing him back into the corner. So Scott couldn't find a grab. He stayed airborne. It's like, look, you challenged me. You can come up here. You can hit me with the up air. You can hit me with forward air all you want. But I'm not getting grabbed. What? My mind was almost just exploding. He picked Marth by accident. Oh, <laughs> that Marth. That character. Uh, yeah, that yeah, character yeah, yeah, yeah. That's is what I'm saying. Real. That's what I'm saying. That Doug. is not a real character. Dash attack to start it off. It's gonna be a grab. Okay, nice. Ooh, I'm gonna okay. see a switch over here to Kalos too. So uh, it, it's gonna change up a little bit out of how they recover and how they ledge trap due to the platforms. But we were talking earlier about how Scott never really went to a, like a Kalos against Dill to try to avoid being platform camped. Uh, it seems like maybe that might be the route here because FD was probably not allowed. Mm -hmm. Back airs, like you said, the Nair follow-up too, I like it. It said, you gotta keep it simple, mm -hmm. and you gotta make sure the follow-ups are true. 
Oh, speaking of true follow-ups, getting the falling f uh, fireball into the up air, just getting the damage on. The walking, again, the amount of times Wizzy just walks away from you to let you use it. Oh, he missed it! That was almost the up tilt into up e. That was very, very close to being a stock in favor of Scott. Air dodging his way through there. Wizzy with no big punish. Scott still alive here. Maybe on a second, second chance here on the first stock. Yeah, now Scott's the one that's kind of standing still. Like, usually it's Wizzy the one that's kind of playing the more passive route, but Scott's kind of hanging back a little bit. Does walk right through the throw, gets stage position again. Wizzy's been doing very well in the ledge traps the last few Ooh. stocks, too. Catching the air dodge in. Scott did that again on mm -hmm. the first stock already. So that was twice. Wizzy with the trump. Knew he'd go for that nervous option. Covered it really, really clean stuff from Wizzy. Excellently played. Now, the aggressive approach from the ledge. Look at this from Wizzy. Now, I thought he was going to go for the downer. Oh, that's his jump. He's forced to deal with this, and he doesn't make it back. He sniped the jump with the dash attack, and that is a very early kill in favor of Wizzy. Yeah, this is huge now, too, because now you're working on Kalos, too. Mario definitely could either hold down center stage. Wizzy's going to press the aggression here, which I like, but he can sit back and throw these fireballs from platform to platform. He doesn't need to engage right here. He can run to the other platform if he wants. What's Luigi going to do about it? Exactly. He can do flood. Yep, yep, yep. All good stuff right here from Wizzy. Yeah, you're a whole two stocks up. There's no reason to constantly approach Luigi. Let him come to you, because otherwise, there's not much he needs to do. With. You're just ch you're hanging out. Why, why do that? You know what I mean? Just chill. Oh, wow. That was actually a really good movement. Yeah, you know what? You're talking about the floods, but yeah, it makes sense. Just keep pushing him back. Annoy him. Get into his head. Make it so he doesn't want to approach. Like, make it so he tries to approach you, gets the down tilt, tries to cover the air dodge in like you were talking about before. Yeah, it's just at this point, like, the down tilt catching him right there is going to be an air dodge in uh, point of habit. Oh, oh, what? Um, Wait. Huh? The side beat. He's trying to get the trade, I think, when they up beat. So Scott doing the side beat was actually super good right there. Looks like a whole goddamn cartoon. I don't even know what the hell happened. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, he has a stock up, at least. Uh, up smash to meets up smash. Obviously, Mario's had a little bit bigger on that. Set. He may be taller, but... Uh-oh, hold on. Uh -oh. Hold on. Wait. So he's got too much rage to go for, like, a zero to death. But, oh! <laughs> if that air dodge in got hit, that would have put him at an even game. Yeah. But Scott does end up dying to the back air once again. Wizzy has definitely figured this matchup out. Wizzy full control right now. You love to see it, too, because he's done it in a couple sets that we've seen here in top eight. He did it against Sharp as well. Kind of got waxed up a little bit yeah. in game one and then really cleaned up his play. Counterplayed around Sharp's strengths, and we're seeing the same from Scott. He's not letting Scott get those big hits, the big grabs in those bad situations for Wizzy. Just avoiding all that stuff. Really, really clean. And yeah. keeping his punishes simple, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not overextending, not getting foolish, playing very airtight. Love yeah. to see it from Wizzy, so. 100%. Not overextending is definitely the name of the game here. Not trying to give up too much stage position. Don't go in too much. But we're going to see a much smaller stage now here in Smashville. So combo game does make it a little bit easier for Mario to get up air strings here. But it is way less room for Scott to have to run in to get a hold of Mario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. I yeah. kind of like the stage for Scott, to be honest with you. But Mario's always going to have a stationary platform in the center for combo extensions, mm -hmm. too, which is going to be really big. Uh-oh. Oh, oh forward air. That's a, that's a stock. That is how you capitalize big time on that up air. It's already starting things off hot. That's going to be a big factor in this matchup, too, is that the, the edges of the stage are so close. And up air, a rogue up air for like three quarters of the stage mm -hmm. leads to true death. You know what I mean? Crazy. Yeah, you can't run away from that. It's so hard to get away from that situation. And even though Scott was able to answer pretty quick, like 65% worth of damage, he hasn't been able to get, like, Wizzy just keeps keep boxing him out. So, oh, he went so deep for that. He's still got his jump, and he is wow, somehow he able to make back. that back. Yeah, it was a clean recovery from Scott. He's going to need a couple more of those if he's going to want to close out the set, though. I'm gonna somebody, need, somebody needs to turn aim assist on for uh, Scott's controller real quick. I believe that Mario's facing the other way. There you go. True. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Devin wastes no time. We appreciate Devin on stream. Also, that is back a whiff dash attack into a free grab. You like, might have good back throws in this matchup, too. Mario can chuck you off stage, like, pr pretty much anywhere on Smashville with yeah. back throw. Look at that. Coast to coast, too. Like, usually this is a point in time where I start to ask, like, okay, what do you believe that Scott needs to do to get back in? But to be honest, he's just getting outplayed at ledge so hard right now. Yeah. It's basically just, you need to hold center stage. But there, he finally finds a Luigi Tornado. He's not going to get a zero to death because of how much rage he has, but he can definitely find a, a big damage combo here to get himself back in the game if Wizzy even gives him the chance to. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A B? Oh, my God! 81% off of one string. This character is stupid. Disgusting, but dude. Oh, wait. Oh, there's Wizzy, though. Up smashing his way back into the lead. Up a stock on Scott. Wizzy trying to close this out. He's, Wizzy's about to punch his ticket to Grands right now. Winner's side. Oh, my God. Drag. Oh, 
Does you know what? I like the attempt to go for the jump read forward air there because he doesn't have the hit for the off air afterwards. But you're right. I think Wizzy's def like uh -oh. he's getting ready to push himself right in the grand final. Downfield. Scott looking at last stock. I like Wizzy's down tilts. They've been so good. Now he's covering roll. He's got trying to mix it up from the ledge, but Wizzy just doesn't care, man. He's covering everything. Dead. Oh, nice recut. Nice little stall there from Scott. Barely able to avoid that forward smash. Nice, good job at the rising up here. Again, how many times has Wizzy caught neutral get up? When, even when he's far away. Tries to go for the drag down forwarder. Big amounts of text and jumps off the wall, but nobody killed. First One, two, three. Oh, he had, yeah, he had back that. Throw? He still gets the back throw. Very close to killing right now. Could be it, AJ. Oh my god, the flood is so good too. Plopping those fireballs down, it might do it. Nice, Scott able to recover though. Take that was really look. good by Scott to not use his jump early because otherwise that stock was gone. Back throw won't do it just yet, even with all that rage. Nice, Wizzy clearing the way too with the flood. Very good self-defense there off stage. Yeah, I think Wizzy, Wizzy definitely understood that all of us were, we, we expected that backer to come in, trying to find a jump read. Scott needs to up smash or something soon. But right now at 171, yeah, that's over. Up air. Nice, that was really close actually, but Got to give Scott's props because he did, really did a good job recovering in that matchup, honestly. Does not seem easy at all. Able to do it, and Scott is now in uh, loser's finals, and you got to give Wizzy a lot of credit because yeah. he's sitting winner's side grand finals after a great set against Scott. 3-1 uh, victory in four games. Very clean stuff there from Wizzy. Yeah, what a top eight we've had so far. I mean, we, we started top... We've been casting for quite a while, man. <laughs> it, it, these been have been minute. some incredibly cool sets. Um, some really, like... It's just awesome to watch the adjustments because that first game, like Scott read it back, but like he had a lot of good reads on the way that Wizzy was playing. Yeah. And then Wizzy's like, well, actually, what if I just ledge trap you like crazy? Like, what if you, what if I just prevent you from ever getting those grabs so I just constantly back air? And once you take that win con away from Luigi, what's he got? He's, he's got four, jump forward airs. He's got off airs. He gets big damage. But once grab is gone, a lot is gone from his kit. Wizzy's just a good adjuster, honestly. We've seen him do it in a couple matchups against a couple players who mm. play very different styles, very different characters, all that stuff. So really nice. Job to Wizzy. I mean, he earned that grand finals, but yeah. cutting through losers, we have light and John numbers and